Today, I am going to share with you a tool that has helped me dive into character on a whole nother level. I call it tethering, and it's a simple process I came up with that if you can incorporate into your audition routine, will will change the depth of your storytelling and your connection to character. Hey guys, my name is Hans Christopher. I am an actor, coach, and creator of the Working Actor series. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. With that, let's dive in. So today's lesson is is on connecting to character, connecting to character in a deeper way. You can do this with, if you've booked a job and you have time, the more time you have with this, the deeper you can go with it. But you can also do this just with an audition and a few days. It's it's something that the more you do it, the more you kind of jump into it and are able to kind of connect to character on a deeper level. Um, so let's just jump in. So the process that uh, I'm going to be teaching you today, it's a tool I caught called tethering. You guys have probably heard me talk about it. I talked about it a lot in the superpowers lesson. Uh, I talk about it a lot in the audition process. Um, but tethering, like I said, when done right, gets you to want to serve the story. It, it really helps calm nerves and calm you thinking about you, ego, what do I look like, am I doing this right, and gets you into um, serving the story, serving this character, and the most important part making the story your story so it no longer becomes the story of the character your char the character and you become one so that you're serving by you doing this you're serving their story and it's it's hitting on things that are true to you uh, and that's the goal you want to get it to a place where this there's it's interchangeable it's your story and their story being told at the same time um, so the process that i do that is uh, the first thing i'm going to do is obviously i'm going to read the script i'm going to get the audition i'm going to get the breakdown and I'm going to digest it. I call it, the, this is the director work, where I kind of am thinking of it in terms of story, uh, in terms of what do they want for the script, what, what is my role in this as far as the story or this character's role, um, just so I have some of those things hashed out and worked out. Um, and then the next part is, is the tethering part. So I have an understanding of the character, I have an understanding of the story, the script, the audition, whatever I've been given, the breakdowns. Um, and then what I do, and this, this might be a little strange to you guys, me 10 years ago would look at this and be like, what the fuck are you doing, Hans? Uh, but this has served me really well. So what I do is I close my eyes and I imagine as if I had a dream that the essence or ghost or spirit of this character came to me in a dream and said that it had chosen me to play this part or this role um, and that I was the only one who could do it. And that it had full faith and full belief in me being able to do this. So this is just a little imaginative exercise I do. I pretend as if I'm dreaming, as if this happened. And the reason I do this is because of this next part. Then I open my eyes and I ask myself this question. Did knowing that this character, this entity, this thing chose you for a reason, why? Did the character's name choose you, your name, to tell its story? And the more you can dive into that question, the more you will be able to tether. Because that is everything right there. That is the work. If you can dive into that question, why did this character choose me? And really answer it, truly answer it. Um, it's going to connect you on a level that is so much deeper. Now, for you, you could. You, I would suggest starting there. I'm going to share with you exactly how I go through that process. But just by starting there and trying to answer that question as if it something came to you, said you were the one who had to play this role, and your job is to figure out why. Why did it choose you? What is it about me that, that this thing thinks I can do this? And what it's going to cause you to do is it's going to cause you to, to look in. It's going to cause you to look at things about yourself that maybe link with the character you're playing. Uh, and that's, that's the goal, that's what we want to happen. Uh, so the next step that I do, the next part of the process is I'll get a journal like this and I'll open it up to a page, this is all filled out, but I'll open it up to a page like this and on the top left side, I'll write my name and on the top right side, I'll write the character's name. Now, you guys know if you've, you've done the superpower work and all those things where we really start to get your note and work on your strings and work on what's what are those things that are so significant for you, right? For me, 
you know, the abandonment issue is a huge one. So, so why don't they want to be with me is a, is a note that I have that I would put down on my side, something that I know is core to me, a string to me. I would then list out maybe five to 10 quick ones that I know of myself. Now I've done a lot of work on myself, so I can, I could literally have that note sheet I showed you guys before. I can put them all down immediately and have those out knowing that those are the kind of the core, the essence of my character, my superpowers, right? Then what I do is I go down to the character, right? And right now it's me and the character on the other side of the page. And then I start listing some of the things that the character could be the character's superpowers or the character's flaws or the character's um, issues, the things that they're going through. List five to 10 of those, right? And then what I want to do is I want to start to see, and usually as I'm writing these out, I'll immediately have a sense with one of them. Something will ring true to me. Something will start to make me be like, oh, I get that. I understand that story. I understand what that is. Uh, and it doesn't matter the type of role you're playing. It could be a serial killer. It could be, you know, when you start to dive into these issues, um, you can get to these levels of like, I understand why something is, why he could have gotten that way. I understand that because of something that happened with me. Now, obviously, it's to a completely different degree, but all we're looking for are those things we can tether, those things we can connect. Um, so once I find one or two of those things that I've created on both sides, I, I circle them and I turn it into a motto, I turn it into a short essence or short saying, three to ten words of something that speaks to me, something that rings true to me, um, a good example of, of, of a motto that worked for, uh, I think it was American Gigolo was, was it, it came out and it said, uh, I'm, I know I'm not, I know I, like, I know I don't deserve it. I know I don't deserve this. It was just something that rung true for me, but really it was able to get me into this place of, um, you know, an addict and some of the stuff that he came from. Um, but it was a great, it was a great little tool that I was able to use. So that, that's one example that you can do. It doesn't have to be bad either. It's just those things that ring true to you. The goal is you want to get a, a short little motto or a short little saying. And then what I do is I take that motto and I put it on top of my audition page, the sides that I'm going to use for the audition. And that is the only thing. So all this has been work to get you to connection connecting your story to the character's story. And now you're going to thread that through. You write it down at the top of your sides. Um, and I do it before I do the three-step memorization technique. Now I have that written on the top of my page. And as I go through and, and I memorize and I ingest stuff and I do my imaginative work, I'm threading that motto and looking for moments and looking for things to take throughout the whole thing as I'm working on it. Um, this is also one of the only things that I will take in on the day of the audition, right? I tried to do my best to leave all the preparation and all the work at home. And on the day, go in in a play state, go in in a, in a state where anything could happen. But I will take in one or two mottos. Uh, I usually take in two mottos because I believe, I'll do another lesson on this eventually, but I, do, I believe strongly in, in you doing two tapes, um, it was an actor that I worked with on set last year who had such a great point. I think I may have talked to you about this before, but he said the purpose of two tapes um, is, to, is to book the other people at the table. Think of it as a table of 10 people who all need to clear your audition, who all need to be on the side and say, you know what, we like them. We're going to go ahead and push them through. You need to convince everyone at that table that you're good to go. And many times the things that directors... Uh, the creatives like are different than the production side of things and many times that second tape you want it to be different very different so that you can book those producers or you can book that other person in the room who may not have liked your first tape may thought it was too slow or didn't see the nuance in it but the second one you hit it where they wanted it hit it so that causes them to clear your tape over someone else so that's just I kind of went off with that but it's just um it's a great example. It's why I take two mottos out of this. So I'll take two mottos out of it. I'll put them on the top of each side of the page. And as I'm going through my memorization work, my imaginative work, preparing for the audition, I, I kind of thread that through the whole time and make sure I'm using that. And then on the day of the audition, if I've done my, my three-step memorization technique properly and I'm completely off brain, 
I can then thread it through <clears throat> and ask some questions that have to do with this these little mottos that I've created um, in the story. And I can kind of play with it to elicit different things, put it on the reader, do some different things in the room to, to kind of allow that truth that, that comes from me but is now connected to the character to come through. And it really has done some magical stuff um, in, in some of my auditions and some of the stuff that I've done. So, um, yeah, that's the tethering technique. I implement it as, as with everything. Um, if, if it sounds like something you'd want to try, try it out. See if it helps you. See if, see if it can do something. It can get you connected on, on a deep, deeper way like it has with me. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, let me know. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you have a comment or a question, leave it in the chat below, and I'll see you next week.